Welcome to this tutorial on creating and formatting a chart in SAP Analytics Cloud. I have prepared a story with a dataset and going back to the story mode, we click on this little chart symbol in the menu bar to insert a chart. Let's make it a little bit larger and see what we can find in the Builder tab on the right. On the top, we see that our chart is connected to SAC Retailer Dataset. If you want to change the data source, click on this little pencil symbol and select another model. I won't change anything here, but I want you to remember that it is possible to connect any chart in your dashboard to any dataset or model. Below the data source, you can select between different chart types. SAC inserts horizontal bar charts as default. Of course, you can change the orientation to vertical. Regardless of which chart type you choose, you always have to select at least one measure. I select sales for this one and as a dimension, I take country. Let's put a copy of this chart aside to have a comparison in the end of this video. The first thing I usually adjust in any bar chart is the sorting. Click on these three points to open the context menu of the chart and then go to sort, sales and highest to lowest. Sometimes it makes sense to restrict a chart to the top members. To do this, go to rank and top N options. And here we can define a number. Let's take the top 10 countries. Let's continue with the design and go to the styling tab. Since we have a light gray background, it looks better if we change the background color of our chart to white. Another thing I like to adjust is the chart title. I change the style to bold. I always recommend to format the numbers if you are working with large numbers. It often makes sense to use other scales, like thousands or millions. In this case, I leave it to unformatted but I definitely change the decimal places to zero. Always check this option in your dashboards because decimals usually are not helpful and complicates reading and understanding the figures. In general, I try not to use any labels in charts because eyes have to move back and forth when using data legends. Coming to labels, I want to show you one interesting option when building stories, especially for smartphones. I duplicate the existing chart for a moment and select inline as the axis label direction. The labels are now placed above the bar. That looks a bit unusual. However, when changing to a smartphone view, you can see the benefit over normal bar charts. Especially if you have long member names, the bars get smaller and smaller. With inline activated, the visual effect of bars maintains. Let's go back to the edit mode and do a final adjustment. Even though the default design of charts is quite good in SAC, I recommend to set the axis line to transparent. Perfect, that looks nice. Now you are ready to create and format charts in SAC. If you want to learn much more, then check out my SAC Masterclass on Udemy. Please follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.